the director of football journeyman on football manager 21 with me foggy plays and as you can see this is what we're starting out as we have zero coaching badges a five percent reputation so half a star and we have previously been sunday league footballer it's not going to be easy um but i suppose that is the point of this series it is not meant to be easy it is meant to be Difficult. It's a challenge. Definitely. Definitely got my uh, hands full this year. Because there is so few teams available. Uh, for FM20 when I did this. I did every nation in Europe. That was available. Bar. The nations that I'm actually using right now. So. That was easier. Because there's thousands of teams. That were available. I think I had a hundred and. Was it 147 interviews. At the start of the season. Um, this time around we only have. I'm just going to get rid of international. No. I meant to say get rid of international. Uh, we have five. Five clubs that I don't think we're going to get. So I have a half star reputation. And Dordrecht is a two star. Fortuna Sittard is three star. Chesterfield is probably our best bet. A star and a half. Wigan in administration, but two and a half stairs. And Dabe, three star. Not quite sure that it's. We're, we're going to have trouble. I'm going to declare interest in the Chesterfield job in the hopes that it does something for me. Um. So we're gonna any manager worth their salt will be interested in this. So just a quick actually, because I'll probably in case you're here for the first time and this is your first video with me, the director of football journeyman challenge is just that. It's a challenge. So we start with, as you can see, as I said, nothing. We are a nobody in football, and we plan to go from unemployed to winning the champions league as quickly as possible so last year uh, as i said i started with teams that weren't in the top nine division or the top five divisions and went from there so i started with a club in iceland got relegated which was fantastic um then we moved to marani tbilisi in georgia and we had a fantastic time there got the club into the europa cup two but we were struggling financially so very badly and um, had no coaching badges so i had to leave um moved to hungary with lombard papa Tiermal, where we spent a couple of seasons moved to Durog, where we i think we won the second division and i spent a couple of years with them and then we moved to Ghent, if I'm not mistaken. I think there was... Yeah, we went straight to Ghent. And then we ended up winning the Champions League with Ghent. Which was just delightful. So, it starts off quite hard. Quite low. Um, Starting with nothing. And no club in this, this save. Because um, if I show the leagues. It is just Belgian, English, French, German, Dutch, Italian, Portuguese... Russian and Spanish leagues, and I have uh, approximately four hundred and four thousand players loaded, so I can get as many players as humanly possible onto this save. Um, it's going to be difficult because unless, say, like an amateur division team in Belgium loses their manager, or Van Rama National League North or South sacks their manager, National Two in France, maybe the Bundesliga Three. Series C potentially Portuguese Championship or the Spanish Second Division B. We're, we're aiming at the lowest teams in the game to try and well in these leagues to try and get a potential job. So I'm going to bring you back when we get our first um either job interview or the first lot of 
it's if if those if those five jobs yeah there's five yeah if those five jobs come along and they all say no then we'll we'll see what we do from there um i feel like it's going to be a slog at this part i'm going to put my name in for the wigan job because i am a wigan fan a dream come true that it would be so i'm gonna jump forward a little bit see if i get offered any jobs and if i don't then i'll bring you back and i'll just let you know how the five jobs have gone or five potential job interviews um so yeah back in a second to find out how we're getting on in the world of football so it is the very next day Derby County have said no because of our lack of experience in leading teams to promotion. Uh, Dorchess said we would have been an acceptable fit, but for some reason not putting us on the shortlist due to the strength of the other candidates. Um, and actually the same for Fortuna Sattard. Um Question from the lads from Last Bone. Experienced and deceitful. I'll work anywhere. I will work anywhere. So we still haven't heard back from Wigan and Chesterfield. I am the favourite for the Wigan job. <gasps> okay. We'll be back if I get offered uh, an interview with Wigan. So don't, <laughs> don't do this to me, Wigan. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh, I always do a Wigan save. So most of the time it's just a private one, but we could be managing Wigan. Okay, so Chesterfield came back and said that <clears throat> they had mild reservations about our suitability to deliver the club's realistic vision for the future but most importantly we can have offered us a job interview i haven't done an interview in fm21 yet so we're going to attend and we are just going to do whatever they want so can you handle managing a team so close to your heart might the emotional attachment of being a fan be too much I'm professional enough to avoid letting my heart rule my head. I have so much passion and adoration for the club. I can bring all of that and more to the table. I'm a professional. We paired a company with our last manager much sooner than anyone or anybody could or would have anticipated. Can you offer assurances that we won't be in for a repeat of that? I'm the sort of manager who wants to win now. I want short term success and I can make it happen. It's my intention to commit to a long and successful career with the club. I don't care about previous managers. I'm only focused on what I can bring to the table. Success. Are you comfortable handling a team in administration? So I consider myself well versed in handling sensitive financial situations. You can trust me to do the right thing. I feel the best approach is to ignore anything about but the football because that's all that really matters. I'm under no illusions about the scale of the task. It'll be hard. But it's a challenge I'm up for. I think the well versed in handling the situation. Um, how would you feel about working with our current director of football, Luca Barney? I'm more than happy to work with him. That is exactly, <laughs> that is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so play entertaining football. Work within the wage budget for five years. Win the our. Papa John's, John's Trophy, not important. Fight bravely against relegation in League One. Be competitive in the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. And then continue remaining in the Skybet League One. Just for eternity. Yeah, I'm happy with that. If hired, we would expect you to avoid a battle or avoid a... or To battle to avoid relegation. Is that fair or do you think you can do even better? If given the job, I would be able to meet the expectations of trying to battle against relegation. Um, would a proposed transfer budget of 50k be suitable to get the job? Um, I feel a slightly larger transfer budget. Mm. I don't think there's, I don't think I'd need such a large transfer budget if appointed. Happily work with a slightly smaller transfer budget. I work with a smaller transfer budget. A uh, budget of 69,790 for wages. I'll just go smaller. It's fine. That's fine. Uh, do you have any other requests for us to consider? I have no requests to propose. 
that just about covers everything. We'll go now. Uh, we'll. Why can't I read? We'll now go away and review the process before determining who becomes our new manager. Good luck. We'll be in touch soon. I am recording. Fantastic. So, there is a chance that I could get the job as Wigan manager straight away. So, I'm just, I'll bring you back if we can offer me the job. If they don't, we're probably screwed. I am three to one favourite or one to three favourite. We should, this, this should, we should be straight in as Wigan manager. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh we'll, we'll see in a second. Okay, so we've been offered a contract. They've given us 45k and 57k wage budget. I feel like that's probably a mistake, but I really want the job. And it's only August, so we could still shift players. Like, when do we can play their first league game or the first important game? Not for another month. Okay. We could. We could in theory shift players. But. <laughs> Start negotiations. Um, can I get 50? Oh, okay. I, could, I probably should have gone higher. But that's fine. That's fine. No. <laughs> We've taken over at Wigan. Get in. I didn't get the achievement for taking over at my, my the club I support. Um, Wigan have today confirmed the appointment of Foggy Plays as their new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the 30-year-old who has re recently spent time away from club football and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at DW Stadium. He replaces previous manager John Sheridan. Some factions in the media had been touting plays as a favourite for the job all along and his appointment has created much discussion around the club. So I had a look at uh, Luca Barney. He's fine. He's he's fine. I'm not he's just he's fine. It, it's acceptable. Um I'd like to formally welcome you to Wigan to get you acquainted with your new surroundings, you'll receive our introductory welcome pack before going on to finalise the vision and objectives we are to proceed together with. Congratulations and welcome aboard. So, standard, fairly standard 442, loan obligations. Uh, we have a couple of pairs. We have, a, we have five players, to be fair. Uh, we do have pl plenty of players. Um, Guy Naismith is so old. Uh, so yeah, everything that we agreed is just there. Perfect. Um, I'm not going to bother with the... Uh, might as well do it friendly. Um, so we are going to confirm... Matt Perry. Blonde hair. Dark Tash. No, yeah, this is fine. Um... Wigan players in the last year of their contract. Oh, we are screwed. Um, so there's a couple of players have uh, one year extensions in their contracts, which is perfect. Um, this is we need to make um. We need to make runs in the cups because we are in trouble. We're only 55k. We're overspending on our wage budget already. So maybe we just make. Um... Ah, it's not really going to do much. We'll get us to like a grand away. Ooh, maybe this wasn't a great idea. Um, Create tactic. I'll do that in a second. I'll bring you back to show you what that's going to look like. Um, let's have an old chance at the squad. It's not a terrible team. Like we've the oh, the, they're not happy at all. Oh, they are not happy with me. Oh, they're like, who is this guy and what is he doing here? 
Yeah, lots of the players oppose me. <laughs> Let's hold a team meeting. I want to take the opportunity um, to introduce myself as the new Wigan manager. They're all agreeable. Fantastic. Uh, welcome. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Uh, welcome. I'm pleased to see you in charge and hope your reign is long and successful. I'm going to give... Okay, there's plenty of players are happy because I said I'm going to give youth a chance. Not sure that'll really change anything, but if everyone else is happy, by all means, go for it. Aim to reduce the squad size. I'm not really sure that that's... I'm not going to make any more promises. Absolutely, promises aren't always easily defined, though we need some tangible targets for the season. Um, I strongly believe there is enough ability in this squad for us to avoid being drawn into a rele relegation battle this season. I know that we're expecting a tough season, but all I can ask is that you all work as hard as possible to avoid the drop. Positive about our chances. I think we can beat the drop and stay in the division this season. Oh, I'm dubious and can't be the only one. Okay, maybe that's the, that is unrealistic. All I can really expect is that you work as hard as possible to try and avoid the, the drop. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm pleased about that. You seem, this seems much more achievable to me. Outstretched arms, outstretched arms. Uh, that's the exact reaction I was after. I'm really I'm, yeah, I'm really pleased with those of you who do agree with me. Delightful. Okay, so the squad is slightly happier. The dressing room. It's got a bit. Oh, oh, oh. What do we have in. Uh, all right, we have to have a look at our ass man. Yeah, Richard's never really. Uh, he's, not, he's not a great assistant manager, to be fair. Ooh. We've one coach. Who is the coach? We have Sean Wallace, Seven Fitness. Ooh. Yikes. We have the worst. <laughs> we are the worst team in the division. Where are they expecting? I'm assuming they expect us to finish rock bottom. No, 13th. Okay. We're expected to finish 13th. So Lee Evans is seen as our best player who's wanted and transfer listed. Gonna have to Take him off the old transfer list before long. And our second best player, so far down, Solomon Adabar. Played for CSKA Sofia and Birmingham. Right, I'm going to put a tack together. Tactic together. Why can I not speak? I'm having so much. I'm just so excited. Um, It'd be nice if we could. Uh... We've lost so many good players. Jensen Weir. Joe Gellhart. Balligan. Acceptable. David Marshall. Nathan Byrne. Kipre. Dunkley. Morsey. Michael Jacobs. Josh Windus. Jamal Lowe. It's just a list. Key for more. It's just all our good players are gone. All our good players have left us. Uh, so I'm going to put a tactic together and I will bring you back in just a second so I can show you who's going to be in the starting 11. Probably. And then actually we'll have a quick look at the under 23s. We have decent, decent players in, in the under 23s. Uh, what about the under 18s? We have a decent left back but he is 16. So, oh, and he's not very good. Technically, not very good. Mentally, terrible. Physically, he's quite good. Decent. Except he's fine. Oh, I, just, I feel like I'm just going to be saying he's fine all the time. Ooh. So yeah, I'll have a look at the 11 and see what I can put together. And we'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll go from there. And I'll have a look and see. I have to set up the whole... Oh, I've set everything up now. This is, this is the best part about Director of Football series. Just going in and putting everything to Director of Football. So, 
I will be back in just a second with that. So as it stands right this very moment, this is the 11 we're probably going to start with. Um, I'm actually not, am I going to have you as a ball playing defender? No. Um, <clears throat> so it's going to be Owen Evans in goal, Tom James as our right back, Darnell Johnson potentially. These two could swap at some point. Um, Obi is a player I could put in at centre back as well. Uh, Tilt and Pierce will be our back four. Mary as our half back. I do like a half back. Um, we're going to run with Lee Evans and Matty Patter Palmer as our centre midfield. Solomon, Ottobar, and Massey, which are actually on the wrong side. They should be that way around. And Garner is going to be the striker. Um, I've taken everyone off the transfer list because I don't want to just leave people walk out on the cheap. Um, Charlie Jolly might give him a couple of games. He's <clears throat> in real life. He's not that bad of a player. Uh, we are very low player wise. Um, dynamics. Do people still hate me. Yeah, they do. Eight players don't hate me, so I should probably get them into the team rather than you know. The players who do hate me has the fact that we've it's not done any difference yet i don't want to ask do i ask for a coaching course i feel like i need a coaching course but am i going to get one is a different it's a completely different question um i'm interested what the director of football is going to do because all i am doing right now is Hiring and firing the director of football and the technical director because that is the only thing that I can't get my director of football or my technical director to do. I, I'm going to be renewing their contracts and I'm handling team selection. Um, other than that, currently I'm leading friendlies, but I, that, that'll change after a couple of friendlies probably. Um, the touchline instructions, because that's what I want to do, and I'm going to lead team talks. Everything else is nothing to do with me. I will be... In no way involved. But this is the 11. At the moment. That I'm going to be starting with. I think um, Cal Naismith. Has to get into the team. At some point. Somehow. I'll shoehorn him in somewhere. Because he can play pretty much anywhere. Um, to be fair. He's. Like. Left back wise. Best left back. But I think Tom Pierce Has a bit more about him. Centre back. He's one of the best centre backs. Um, On the right wing. He's. He's decent on the left wing. Again, quite decent. Can play as an attack midfielder if we decide to go attack midfielder. Because I did consider having a number 10. But we actually don't have any number 10s that are any good. The only player we have is Dan Gardner. Who is not terrible. But I don't really feel like putting my hopes and dreams in his hands. And Joe Piggott. Who again. More of a. Striker. Um, and. Not, not, not what I want to do. I want to go to Death Center. Um, considering bringing some of the players. From the under 23s and under 18s. Into the first team. Just, if nothing else. Just to fill it out a small bit. Because it is very. Very empty. There's a potential. Potential some of these players get a lot of game time. Um, also depends completely on who gets gone, basically, um, in administration, but they love the club. Interesting. Did not expect, did not expect to see that. Um, yeah, the next episode, we'll probably do the Carabao Cup first round and see what transfers have been done to that point. The Papa John's Trophy. Port Vale and Tramere and the Liverpool under 23s. I feel like that's. I know Loki Doki did a Wigan save, and I feel like I'm just going to struggle compared to what he did. But I think this, based on my knowledge of my favourite team, this is how we probably line up. I know I'm re I really want to shoehorn. Nace within and Obi. I want Obi to start, but I'm not sure where. Um, 
But there's a lot of players in here that I'm like, mm -hmm. like Kyle Joseph could really do it alone. But is the director of football going to do that? I don't know. I'm actually just going to take all the the wage budget or the transfer budget, put it into the wage budget. Now then we've we've less to get rid of. Um, hopefully we get taken over at some point in the not too distant future. Being in administration does make it just a smidgen more difficult. Maybe we look for an affiliate club. All will be revealed in the next episode. If you have enjoyed up to this point, please do make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Share with all of your friends. Please, please like and subscribe, comment. I love Wigan. I really want to do well. Please, we could end up doing a one a one team save. I don't know how I got a, a League One job. I know they're in administration and this was a terrible idea. But leave a like for the fact that I've taken over at a club in administration for my first job. Thank you very much for watching, fellas. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.